YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today on FIFA 23, we had a pretty decent trading day, especially if you were on a low budget. We had World Cup marquee matchups. We had a Terrier Player of the Month SBC. And then on the other side of the market, they, like in general, there weren't too many crazy movements. Um, here's the Terrier card. I would say, if anything, we just saw some of these lengthy cards, the lengthy meta. We're kind of just seeing it more so in effect as a couple of the lengthy cards came down in price more we are now seeing ronaldo sitting at his min price of 160k and uh i think i showed you guys cantona yesterday how he was 1.7 bounce back up to 1.9 i haven't checked but i'm pretty sure he was just back down at like 1.3 mil so in the matter of two days he dropped a million coins so that just goes to show how crazy this lengthy meta change is in the game i don't know how many of you guys have tried the gameplay since the update but it's crazy it is like completely different i am changing my team around completely for weekend league and um yeah I, I gotta figure out the gameplay a bit more because i haven't put much time into it because you know i, I kind of want to go try warzone out and i have a big investment i literally have four thousand cards in my unassigned pile i told you guys i told you guys i'm gonna tell you about my big full send investment this weekend uh probably in saturday's video i'm guessing i'll talk about it live on stream tomorrow on friday though if you want to come into that but today anyways trading marquee matchups we got a world cup marquee matchups and yesterday's video i was like hey guys go look see what comes out whatever formation has the three center attacking mids usually flies and i believe today we saw portugal's center attacking mids go up quite a bit in price i'll go see what they're going for right now but um, earlier, I forget what they went up to, but it was a lot. Let's see. What are they going for at the moment? I know they went to over a thousand coins, but how high did they actually go? Let's see. 1800 coins. So let's go look up Vatinha. Let's just look him up on Footbin real quick so I can see kind of what he peaked at earlier. Vatinha is actually a center mid. So let's look at Pedrinho. All right. On to Pedrinho, who is a center mid as well. Are there any actual center attacking mids maybe that's why they did so good fabio vieira okay there we go yeah fabio vieira should be a center attacking mid ready i'm looking him up on footbin real quick he's 1900 coins right now but earlier today he peaked at footbin catches him at 2.5 so i'm guessing he went to like 3k maybe 3.5 and before content, just so you can kind of see what the flip was like, he was about 1300 coins. I think there was a leak though of Portugal because you can see you can see the rise on them beforehand. So once again, the leak discords win because they get everything early. It's how it always is. But uh, as always, low budget, you can trade with so many gold commons during uh, marquee matchups. I can just show you guys real quick how you find some filters. So say... You know, we saw in there, Portugal, center attacking mid, same with Ghana. You can go through and look at those and bid on them or try to snipe them. Or you can look at the other positions. So maybe like Portugal center back. How are they doing? Let's go look at, oh, 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 I am fat fingering it. Portugal center backs sell for, this would have been better at content. It's going to be kind of crappy, whatever I'm showing now. Cause like at content, you get all the filters, you wait an hour and then all the supply for marquee matchups comes through and all the bids come through. And it's so easy to make coins if you're on a low budget. So right there, Portugal center back sell for 500. You go through, you look at the bids. I bet I, I could almost maybe guarantee that a lot of these bids were probably 300 coins at content really easily. Um, not, I shouldn't say at content. I should say an hour after content because that's when all the supply comes through. So that's usually how you trade during marquee matchups. We saw Portugal. I think Belgium was one of them. So you uh, probably could have went Belgium center back, stuff like that. It's just go through, look at whatever is required. Then look at all the positions in the formation and see how much they go for. Look at the bids. It's very simple, but, um, there's that. That's what the trading was really today. The lengthy mark is still being down with the Cantona. I actually want to see how much he's going for right now. How much is big boy Eric Cantone? He is going for 1-3. Has he rebounded at all? 1-5 maybe. So I'm guessing he's like 1.4 mil. So that's it's literally he's down a million coins. That's crazy. He is down a million coins still from pretty much two days ago. So uh what i wanted to get into today for what i think is going to happen tomorrow we just went over today let's talk about tomorrow what i think we're going to get with the market maybe buying your team so if you guys want to buy your team you already know the rundown you know what i've said i said go around the path to glory route and go around the wants to watch route 
Uh, a lot of the cards that I've told you guys over the past couple days are already up in price. Rudiger's back up to about 550. This Anthony was down at like 310, 320, 330, and I was saying to buy him. I bought mine like a week or two ago when he was 340, but I held him because I knew he would come back up in price. Let's go look at the Anthony real quick, see how much he's going for. Anthony wants to watch is going for. He's almost 400k. No way, man. Really? So he's pushing 390,000 coins. He's 384. So if you watch the first video, I think he's up like 60, 70 K from the first video. A lot of these cards are up in price. Let's pull up Chow Many because I haven't looked at this guy yet. He was 160 when I bought him. I don't know if I bought him in the YouTube video. Maybe, or uh, maybe I bought him on stream. I'm not sure. And he is up to, oh my God. Look at that, 184,000 coins. So we're doing really good on that side. Um, buying your team, the safe place to buy your team with these ones to watch cards in the path to glory cards. If you're buying any other cards like golds and maybe even the world cup heroes, cause I know they're really cool cards, but I don't know. I'm weird with them with black Friday around the corner with them going out of packs. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird with it. I'm definitely weird with it. Maybe they'll have a little bit of a rebound on Friday, but usually let me tell you guys the rundown on the weekend and if you're buying your team, what happens exactly. So th this almost, I, I don't know if it's been every week, but pretty much almost every single week since the game has been out, this is what happens on the weekend. So this is really important information if you wanna you know, buy teams and not lose coins. On Friday, we usually see the market drop back content and then it rebounds for like a little bit maybe like half hour to an hour a little bit of a rebound then all day friday the market drops and at night time like 10 p.m eastern standard time we usually have a low and then it rebounds into the morning on saturday then saturday uh content drop content happens market goes down again and then sunday slash monday tends to be the low depends on what sort of sbc we get on monday if it's a big sbc the market drops so basically, you know, you buy a team on the weekend, you're almost losing coins no matter what. It sucks. That's why I'm saying build your team around special cards, gold cards will probably not do too good, especially with Black Friday just around the corner. It's literally next Friday. Um, once to watch cards, path to glory cards. Some of the path to glory cards that we talked about, uh, a lot of them are actually up in price. We don't have a window capture today, so we're just going to display capture it and we're going to pull up path to glory and i'll just full screen this so it should work i think it works like this right yeah so i'm gonna full screen this boom uh path to glory cards a lot of them are actually up in price from what we talked about uh nabry's up in price carval hall's up in price Grealish is up a good chunk uh who else i think bernardo silva's up uh glizzy a lot of the cards are up in price i think the young as well the cards that have been like a kind of stagnant slash like down a little bit are the lengthy players lukaku arajo's a weird one arajo's a weird one i thought he would have been absolutely disgusting but um the update happened and i'm not sure how he is how he is in game anymore he's down at 228 he was down i think at like 225 at one point oh there we go 225 um yeah it, it's a it's a bit weird there because like i thought he would have done really really good out of packs but he's now 225 and length he's no longer you know the crazy meta although you can change him with an artist but i'm sure you would prefer to put a shadow on him uh keep in mind these are live cards we are going to see hype built up going into the world cup so they're likely going to rise going into their games especially if it's a big nation playing an easy team but keep in mind if they lose they're probably going to come down in price. I remember last year, it was the Euros and I think Netherlands. I was like, yo, Netherlands have an easy game. I'm going to go all in on Wijnaldum for the Euros. Not, I don't know if I said last year. Like, what is it? Two years ago, Euros? Um, yeah, that didn't go well for me. That did not go very well because I'm pretty sure the Netherlands lost to... I forget what team it was, but it was a game they probably should have won. And I lost a good chunk of coins on that. So in real life, you know, if you're banking on that, it, nothing's ever guaranteed in football. It's not um Grealish is one card that I mentioned in VIP I was saying I actually think Grealish was going to do really good because a Kyle Walker is coming out so it's a Manchester City player and it's a Premier League English player so good links there in England their group they're probably going to easily get out of it just kidding USA is going to top the group you know 
I believe that we will win. Uh, so, Path to Glory cards are going up in price. Maybe keep an eye on them on Friday. See if there's a little bit of panic on them. It depends on how good Path to Glory Team 2 is as well. If, like, Path to Glory Team 2 isn't that good, these guys are probably going to do really good. If it's uh, a really good team, you know, these guys might not be as uh, hype. Because usually it goes, you know, if the team sucks, people are like, whatever, I'm going to go back to the other cards because they're more hype. They are better. So that's it for the... Um, buying your team type thing you know the safe place to go the special card route more so the live card route let's talk about fodder i think fodder is probably going to do good again friday is always so easy to buy fodder this is i do this on stream all the time i, I post about it in vip but like it's a pretty common thing fodder filter this is what i do it usually brings up a bunch of 85 86 87 and i believe 88 overall cards you're not going to see it work right now because um there's no supply but basically what happens is if you guys have ever been around the streams you know how it goes you hop on a, a filter on bids uh on friday when content drops an hour after content drops that's when the bids are, are crazy because there's so much supply so many cards go on bid for really cheap i got a rudry 87 overall for basically his min price let's look up rudry ready look at rudry he was selling for eighteen thousand coins at the time and how much is his min bid let me just look right here i think i got him for 5400 on bid yeah his mins his start price is 5100 i got him on bid for 5400 you can get so many deals on bid on friday just try to get filters sometimes you can do filters like the one i just showed i did what 5400 min oops whoa i did min 3k max 5400 min buy now 10 to 5 or you can literally just choose a card and bid on it you can get so many deals on fodder on bid fodder is getting really cheap right now here we're gonna go back to the display capture and full screen it it's already full screened amazing look at fodder i've had so many people coming into the streams and saying teddy yo should i buy 85s they're cheap they're 7k this that 86s are down wait 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 on friday tomorrow we're gonna get supply on the market usually friday we don't get any crazy sbc it's usually maybe a player sbc that comes out same thing with saturday usually just like a player sbc that comes out never anything too crazy so i would wait for friday try to get really good deals on bid tomorrow's video on friday i'll give i'll give prices for fodder as well because uh saturday sometimes is, is a little bit cheaper with fodder because another day of no sbc and more supply but uh these cards are cheap they're definitely coming down in price and i think this week was the first week of us getting the icon base icon sbc so i wouldn't be surprised if they release another base icon sbc on monday when the current one expires let's actually go look at the current one but it before we go look at the current one um I think fodder that was required in the base icon will do really good. I think the fodder that did best was like really high rated fodder. And then if these 84s come back down in price, but I, I think that might be a little tough for them to come down because some of the SBCs were repeatable and I think they're out for a few more days. If these 84s are back down at 2K, I'm buying them again. I'll buy them again for sure. Um, the 88s were 20K, they're 26K. So they're almost 27K borderline. So that's a little a uh, bit of a tough one right there. We need them to come down in price um 90s were like 30 something uh 91s were in the 40k range so the high rated fodder absolutely freaking flew so keep an eye on that hopefully that drops and you should be able to get good deals on bid you should really easily be able to get good deals on bid so definitely watch out for it and let's go look at when this icon sbc expires if it expires on monday then i really wouldn't be surprised if it expires on monday and then comes out again on monday where is it at base icon upgrade four days uh today's thursday friday saturday sunday monday so pretty uh, yeah i think that would be i think that would be monday so i would not be surprised if that happened and that is me covering everything i'm gonna give you guys the fodder prices tomorrow uh the big investment that i literally have four thousand of i'm not gonna show right here is my my store is 50 because it's completely unassigned. I'm winning 30. Those are bids right now. I keep getting transfer timed out. So I'm like, I'm slowly buying them now. It sucks. I bought 3,000 yesterday. And then today I've only done 1,000 because I keep getting banned. Um, 
But the big investment, I'm going to be buying it tomorrow on stream on Friday, and then it's going to be talked about in the video on Saturday. Tomorrow's video will give fodder prices. That's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Our trading Discord is in the description down below as long with our, as long as along with our Twitch link if you want to watch the live streams. We're live every single day before content. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.